Moody here of Handyman Reality and CondoRenew.ca. I've come over because I've heard about water on the floor around a toilet. And what I find is one of the things I really despise. When they installed this, I always tend to cut this tube so that it's just above the water line, but lower than the toilet handle. Because if you look, you can see the stream of water coming down from the toilet handle. So, of course, the uh, Bullcock, or pardon me, the fill valve assembly has failed. Uh, so the water passing the normal water line that it's normally set at. But like I said, if in the, this had been set up better, it wouldn't leak on the floor. It would leak into the bowl down below if this tube was lower than the toilet handle. So we will uh, replace the fill valve. And we might not mess with this anymore because it's too old. And uh, we'll go from there. So uh, the reason I say it's too old is once you start moving these around, if they're old, they'll crack down low. And uh, then you'll have a continual leaking into the bowl. And then you'll be tricked into thinking it's the actual flapper. But uh, I do not see a flapper issue going on here. There are no dents in the in the edges of the water showing me dripping. So we will replace the fill valve. Thank you very much and have a great day. Don Moody. So I just did not like this idea of uh, if this uh, float assembly ever failed the water could overflow and go up the, uh, the toilet handle because the tube was too tall. So I cut the tube down to just below the toilet handle and of course above the actual water line and uh, everything is now all good. But I really don't like that process in DC. Anyway, have a great day. Don Moody, handyman, reality.com. Condo Renew.ca.